Good day, CNC Warriors. Welcome to ISCAR Plus, where we said no to slow when it comes to machining. Today, we're going to talk about fast feed milling, specifically smaller diameter fast feed milling. If you don't know what fast feed milling is, it is taking small depth of cuts at higher speeds and higher feed rates to achieve that high metal removal rates normally achieve with conventional milling methods. But with fast feed milling, you don't really need a high power machine. Most often, they are actually faster. Oh, really? But when it comes to small diameter work, like cavities and pockets in miniature, the only choice was to use a high feed solid carbide and mill. Well, use the end of it and you had to throw it away. It was wasteful. Think about the environment, man. Hell yeah! And also, each time you had to reset it. And at ISCA, we got no time for downtime. But now, we got indexable high feed cutters from ISCA. Let's have a look. These, my friends, are the two small diameter indexable fast feed cutters from ISCA. We've got the NAND 3 feed and the Micro 3 feed right here. So, let's have a look at this one for starters. The 8 mil NAND 3 feed is one of the smallest indexable multi fluid fast feed cutters in the entire world. You, can't, you probably can't see it, so well, let me bring it to you. If you look at this, this is an 8mm high feed cutter with two flutes. Tiny, yes? The NAND 3 feed features a single sided three cutting edge insert with posti rake for that smooth cutting. This body also features true coolant and has a 14 degree edge angle for that efficient chip thinning. On my right, you have the Micro 3 feed, which comes in the diameter range of 10 mil to 16 mil. So, to 8 mil to 10 mil, you've got the NAND 3 feed, and 10 to 16, you've got the Micro 3 feed. Like the NAND, this also features a single sided, three cutting edge insert with a positive rack for that smooth cutting. Again, it is optimized to get that perfect efficient chip thinning and also features true pull but now that is directed to each insert. These two cutters are also available in a multi-master form like you can see right here. It's actually screwed into an ER32 multi-master connection. So to recap, on average, these inserts are five times cheaper than the solid carbide brother and also does a better job. If you want to know more about these two, click on the link in the description, which will give you a lot more technical details about these two cutters. And don't forget to talk to your local rep because they're full of knowledge and they will help you to set these tool up for your jobs. Until next time, it's goodbye, but remember, at ISCA Plus, we say no to slow when it comes to machining. <sighs> what the hell? My finger is ugly. As multi master heads, so you can just screw into your head and go straight into machining. Screw it in your head. What the f? I'm insane. <laughs> screw it in your shank! <laughs> <laughs>